my name is Stone Hood, and I am with Big Ear. We do personal hearing protection for motorcycle riders across the country, across the world now. Uh, we have providers, about a couple hundred providers uh, worldwide. Uh, we do motorcycle riders, uh, musicians, and anybody who wants to protect their hearing. Uh, one of our biggest marketplaces is for school marching bands um, and uh, big industrial facilities. Uh, what we're doing here today is earplugs. We're going to be making a set of just custom uh, earplugs for, uh, for Aaron. Our, for Aaron. Okay. We're going we're to do some custom earplugs for Aaron here. And uh, we're just going to show the process, kind of how it goes, uh, just give a little bit of a walkthrough. Uh, you'll see you know, step by step a uh, little uh, kind of the process that we do and uh, get them a really nice pair of earplugs and get them on, on the road and get them out riding again. So. This is the process. All right. Yeah, you guys know how we roll. I know. No beard. Just a little change recently, but uh, we'll sit down. We'll get this going on, and uh, we'll talk with you guys in a few. And then it's smart now. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Now it's important not to have a lot of earwax in when you're yeah, doing so, the initial Yeah, mold. so what I did is I just checked to see if there's okay. any earwax or if there's any, any kind of bug or anything like that. You know, something we don't want in the ear, oh, yeah, so yeah. That, that'll kind of impede the process right. of, of it being done. Uh, this is a little foam block. Uh, it's going to go inside his ear canal. I'm going to load up his ear canal. And it's just going to protect from the silicone from touching it on the eardrum or anything like that. We don't want to have any, right. any kind of problems there. I always always put a, a just a little touch of mineral oil so it goes in and out with ease so yeah. it's a really straightforward process and you know it's something i you know we've done thousands and thousands of times and stuff what's really cool about it is that if you if you want to do it at your house or anything like that you just what we have a video and, and i actually just put together the video here on how what it's called a do it yourself at home impression okay. kit so you can just kind of watch on you know you, you get it sit down and watch it it's this super simple process you just inject the, the material so I'm just going to cut off the end there. All right. So those, the uh, foam and the cords, I made it a lot easier to pull out. So that, was, that was a pretty nice innovation. Yeah, and that's that's why we do like the. You know, we always put we put that mineral oil on the, on the yeah. end there, and oh yeah, it, it comes off it easy. Pops right out there. And then I'm just going to cut this up. Can I do? Do away with that guy there. Cutting away excess material, stuff like that. Yeah, I look forward to using these. You know, yeah, the only good. review I've done where I haven't used it for at least a month yeah. was my tent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was a whole experimental process. Um, these, I will use in rock solid for a month. Oh, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the non glamorous process of finishing them. <laughs> Well, there's always some non-glamorous part of the day. Yeah, I know, right? It's usually the guy hiding in the back of the tent that's got to do this. My brother, they, you're curious enough to come up. It's never the guys that are like, what, what? And they come and make fun of it and stuff like that. You know, it's <laughs> one of those things. It's always the one that's just curious enough to go, okay, what the hell is that? And then they, you know, you have a curious mind because, you know, it's a, it is kind of a bizarre like, process. It's a yeah. weird thing. It's, it's an earplug. It's... it's 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 a not like I said it's a not glamorous kind of thing, you know. But problem, and that's why we do what we do. Is, so we've been doing this now for 15 years, and just being able to see that, you know, give it, it, it gives you a purpose in life, you know, because we're protecting people. You know, we're helping people not have permanent hearing damage from something that they love, which you see so much of when you're on a motorcycle. Because you're constantly damaging your hearing, you're always dosing yourself, and there's a new one now. The biggest, the, like I said, the big one is like school marching band because of like what happened with like Obama. You know what happened there is they made, you know, they made um, like school marching band and stuff like that. I never thought about hearing protection for a school marching band. I mean, I suppose yeah, they made, so. They made like music a core curriculum, so that's you know, kids are getting are now in music okay. classes and stuff like that. And just the nature of why is that just close to the instruments? Yeah, from just performing and playing and practicing. And, oh wow! You know, we're finding a lot of the teachers now. You know, even in more teachers are getting extreme doses of of sound because you know you're in the room with 
however many five, ten classes a day, oh. and you're playing at whatever decibel level that it is, the certain frequency that's hitting your ears, okay. causing causing them a lot of hearing damage. And then the kids, if they do pick up music, if they pick that up for like a lifestyle, that then just becomes a it becomes a habit. You know, you're practicing every single day, yeah. or every other day, or whatever that looks like, and then you're just getting dosed by yourself and by other classmates and stuff like that. So we're working with students and working with bands. We're already in the university. Right now, the University of South Carolina, we're in their, their marching band. Oh, um, yeah. And then, you know, we're, we're about five other bands across the nation that we're in to protect their ears and stuff like that. And then the royal, I think, the, the violinist for the, the Chicago Philharmonic, or one of the Philharmonics, were oh, yeah. in his ears. And, yeah, it's one of those things people start, you don't until can't hear anything, and that's the, that's the bad thing about it, is you can't see hearing damage. And there's no recovery after that. And then there's no recovery, and that's the problem with it, is, is it's an invisible thing. Yeah. That's where he and, that's where my friend and I, uh, we both appreciate that, you know, he's a former Marine, I'm a former sailor. Oh, absolutely, no, absolutely, yeah, man. And, and, and I know a lot of times the things we did on the training range, uh, <clears> no, absolutely. Hearing protection. And also, yeah. one of the big ones is that is like PTSD and stuff like that. But a lot of guys were getting it from just hiding behind a tank. That was one of the interesting things I found too, is that guys were getting concussions and PTSD and all that oh, yeah. from not a, nothing that had to do with like any kind of like violence, yeah. like oh. physically, but they were just leaning against a tank and they were just getting concussed over and over 10, 15 times because they're doing practice rounds or whatever it is. And that that's and over pressure from the tanks on fire and it's serious. Yeah, it's nuts, man. You know, if you look at a side view, you'll see this huge evacuation of air and sand as the pressure wave comes through. Yeah, and what do you think that's doing to your body, you know? Oh, yeah. When you think about it, all that you're subjected to as a, you know, as a, a person in the military. It's crazy. And they use you as a tool, and then it's... <laughs> And when our when our tools no good, uh, yep, it's over. Hey man. man, you need to go work someplace else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it sucks sometimes thinking, yeah, we're disposable because we're like we're ten foot tall and bulletproof. And I, I know. Oh, wait a minute, what did he say? Until you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's one of those things, that, and and that that is the mentality that we are kind of like working yeah. with when it comes to like motorcycle industry too, is having enough like inner will to go, you know what, I'll take like the crap from my friends making fun of me for wearing earplugs mm -hmm. because I'm going to be protected. And that that is one of the biggest mentalities that we do oh, fight yeah. is like that. It's like a stigma of like, you know, you're like a sissy because you're wearing earplugs. And that's what we're trying, we always fight yeah. against. It's I mean, like, you have to be yeah. smart and you've got to take care of yourself. Oh, we, wear, we wear gloves yeah. for a reason. We wear, no, absolutely. We wear boots for a reason. We wear absolutely. leather. We wear full face helmet for a reason. I, you know? I'd That's like to see somebody try and come to me for not protecting the ears. And, and it's one of the things. There's always going to be the guys that don't wear the they don't wear the helmets, they don't wear the leather, they don't wear the gloves, and those aren't the people that we're trying to help out. It's the people that, that want to help themselves because you have to. It's one of those things. You have to. It's like you kind of have to, you know, meet halfway at one of those. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things. You got to be able to to want to take care of yourself. One of, one of the reasons yourself. I stopped doing the uh, half helmet. Yeah. I took a bee to the face. No, seriously, yeah, you learn fast, right? And you know, and you go, ah. into the face tells you don't do that. Seriously, right? So this this next step is I'm just gonna put this on. A, it's really on glamorous as well. I put it on the toothpick. All right. And what's in the jar? And then in the jar. So this is our silicone. So what this okay. guy does so is it's it. It's like a sealant thing. Yep, it seals in everything. So it seals in. You know all the the curves, and then it seals right. in, the, it, and then it binds all the material together and creates a, a extremely strong texture on the outside that right. that gives it the seal. We're kind of limited time. Let's you got some waxy stuff. fucking ears, dude. Hmm. Just saying. All right. I didn't realize you were recording. Otherwise, I probably would have yeah, so, words. Yeah, so he's he'll seal it up with the silicone, and that'll help retain the shape. After that, it should be fairly easy. After that, it's done, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so it takes about 15, 10, 15 minutes. It, it